Well, Sarah Linsell is chief executive of the Brain Tumor Charity, and she joins us now. Um, Sarah, hopefully this is some excellent news, although further tests are needed. What are the side effects that the original, that the, the current mm. treatment has? Mm. Unfortunately, brain tumours are actually the biggest cancer killer of our children and of the under 40s. There is no cure and treatments aren't always that effective and the side effects of treatment can be quite harrowing. So for some families you hear that awful heart-stopping diagnosis, your child has a brain tumour and you manage to get through those early weeks of surgery, then chemotherapy and, and radiotherapy. And what you don't factor in is actually sometimes there are years and years of visits to your GP, to hospital for further treatments, whether that's about hearing loss, sight loss, cognitive issues, and realising that you thought you were out of the woods, but perhaps your child may never live on their own, have a girlfriend, have their own children. And for so many parents, that is really, really hard. So what? And the families, of course, as a whole, siblings and, and other relatives trying to Very keep things so. together. Very much so. It affects the whole family and, and treatment is so lengthy that it, it is really tough for the whole family and for families to stay together during that time is very difficult. And if the side effects are minimised by the new method, proton beam therapy, and it does work out, yeah. that will have a major effect, even if in the end, I suppose, it's not successful. Mm. That's true. Uh, of course, we're all hoping that proton beam therapy will ensure greater survival, mm. um, but actually reducing those severe side effects is also fantastic for families. We sometimes forget about the quality of a child's life, of a family's life, because we're so concerned about survival. But actually, that quality of life is so important to families. And what this study shows is actually there is reduced side effects on some of those much more significant uh, side effects for your, for your heart, for your lungs, your ability to grow, to develop. And uh, this research, while encouraging, is at the very early stages. The sample was less than 60, so there is a long way to go. Mm. That's true. Uh, there is more research needed in, within brain tumours, particularly within paediatric brain tumours. Unfortunately, it's a very, very underfunded area. But there are, you know, 500 children this year will be diagnosed with this truly dreadful disease. And the more that we can do to find out how to improve treatments and improve their survival, the better. And one last one, obviously the Asher King case of 2014 mm -hmm. when the parents withdrew the little boy yes. against doctor's advice. In hindsight now, does that change the way we should be thinking about what happened? I think as parents we all understand the need to get the very, very best treatment for our children and every one of us would want to do everything possible. Balancing that against the, the needs within the NHS, the health service of what treatment is needed, I think is, is really challenging. And proton beam therapy isn't actually effective for all types of brain tumour. There are over 140 different types. So it actually only works for certain types of brain tumour, certain parts of the brain, and for certain ages of children too. All right, Sarah Linzel from the Brain Tumour Charity. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Now let's have a look at the headlines here on BBC News. At least 39 migrants, including several children, drowned trying to reach Europe in the latest disaster in the Aegean Sea. Aid agencies say a further 16 people...